Hey everyone, I got caught in the rain on my lunch break and so I'm sitting in La Casaca. It's a great little place in Central Park. It can be as cheap as you want or as expensive as you want. It just depends on what you're hungry for. <laughs> and I'm sitting alone today. I just need some space and <laughs> some time uh, just to gather myself and decompress before going back to class in less than an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gone to the market yet. Um, oh, I don't know. They're on a laugh. I want to cry. I got a job. I got a job. I don't know if I'm relieved that I have a job or if I'm nervous I don't know which I'm both I'm both I'm relieved and nervous I'm excited and scared and oh my gosh I got a job one week one week of my course and I got a job I gotta go to the market. I'll talk to you later. I gotta decompress. <laughs> I got a job. Okay, I am back at my hostel and I am here to show you my spoils from the market. Um, I had to buy two bags to carry everything around. Um, and I guess I'll just put everything on the table before I put it in the fridge. Okay, here is the first haul from the market. I'll have to go to La Bodegona. Bodegona uh, after here to get a few things that I can't in the market or things I don't trust but nonetheless I got green onions garlic uh, leek regular onion tomatoes uh, sprouts lime papaya zucchini this is uh, rambutan or lychee zucchini flowers avocado this is a local green slash herb called chipiline it's really good in a soup uh, basil, dragon fruit, pear, caramboala, uh, cucumber, this is a squash called kiskil, dried fava beans, these two like sweet kind of things, um, one is sesame seeds, one is, come on, sesame seeds, the other one is uh, pumpkin seeds, uh, hibiscus, what they call jamaica, cashews, two ears of corn, why won't my camera focus? Potatoes, sweet potatoes, or yams. <laughs> I just loved the look of this eggplant. Looks like a little guy <laughs> with a long nose. Oh, he looks like a uh, Skeeter. He looked like Skeeter from Doug. Um, rice, oatmeal, and then of course the sipote that kind of got squished, um, which I'm enjoying. I went out with uh, like 420 Q and I came back with 220 Q. So I spent, I've spent, oh, I also got a few new clothes for my new job. I got a skirt, uh, two dresses, a shirt. I did need some pajama pants and then one pair of just some green slacks. Yeah, so um, right now I've probably just on food, I've spent about, See, I spent 200 quetzal, a little under 200 quetzal because I got some loose change in my bag as well. Um, under 200 quetzal on food and clothes. It's probably in food. Oh, and chia as well for oatmeal. Gosh, my train of thought is just like not here. I'm just scattered, I guess. Uh, Less than 200 Q on food. Probably more like 180 Q. 180 kits all on food. And that's just 
a little over t like about twenty five twenty six dollars u s and I was spending um, like a little more than that well not more than twenty five I was spending like eight dollars a day going out to eat and so it's thirty five I was spending um, almost I spent like 35 to 40 percent more on food, and this should last me well. I know I'm going to spend more at the Bodegona because I got to get some other stuff, but gee, we'll see what I come up with with all this goodness. I also just took out most of my dreadlocks because, gosh darn, I have such great hair, so silk, silky, so smooth. It just doesn't want to dread. Um, I did make a few, um, well you can't see them because it's all undergrowth, that have um, held up and are beginning to mat and do their job. Um, so I have left those in, but for the most part, my hair is free. This is the third time I've tried to dread my hair and, you know, it didn't work out the first time because everything congoed. Um, because I didn't know you were supposed to separate the dreads. Uh, the second time didn't work because my head, I don't know, just psoriasis was too bad up here. And this time my hair has just gotten to a place where it's super, super duper good. So it's not working. But you know, that's okay. I have tried three times and uh, it just doesn't work for me. Not in the way that I wanted it to. But you know, I tried and I tried and I tried. So. If it doesn't work out the first time, try again, and then try again. You might find a way that works for you. Okay, tip, if you're cooking and you need to use water, please, if you don't have access to clean water in your hostel, please buy purified water. Okay, so one of the backpackers here who's leaving today, he's from Argentina, um, been saying goodbye he like put his hand out and I went to go like shake his hand but he just kind of looked at me and he was like um and, and I was like um he's like we do this and he took my shoulder brought me in and it was just kind of like a like a cheek touch with like a kiss to like like the air like not kissing anybody but I, I can't explain it Whew. But that was weird. Weird. I've seen it and like learned about it when I took French, and I know that's something that happens, but I've never actually like done that before. Not sure how I feel about it. Hmm. Interesting. Hello, I'm on my way to Central Park, Parque Central, and I'm going to try to find a lady who does hair wrappings, because uh, I did keep a few dreads. I did forget to take out two at the top, I'll do that tonight, um, but with some of the dreads that I have left, I would like to get them wrapped. got one of my dreads wrapped. I did keep one at the front. This one was intentional. I do have two in the back on top that I need to take out, but this one's done and I love it. And I just ran into a kid who used to sell uh, chicle and candies and uh, like small bracelets in the park where the b-boys used to dance. And he's so much bigger now. He was 13, now he's 15. and. It was so good to see him again. I never expected to see any of those kids again. And I did, and we kind of did like a double take. It was like, I know you. <laughs> so I can't believe that he remembered me and recognized me and that we knew each other.
boost because I need to exercise and I want to do pakaya. Last time I was here, I tried pakaya, but I had to buy a mule because I was on Cipro and it just messes me up every time. And I got sick and dizzy. <laughs> it's so beautiful up here guys. I don't care if you're a Christian or not. You should definitely hike Sarah de la Cruz just to get the view of the city. Just to get a view of Antigua and look on the Fuego and get a good workout. Just come up here, dip one to yourself. It's great. I didn't notice it on the way up, but there's a little picnic area. I think I might have to get some of my uh, classmates to do Cerro de la Cruz and uh, maybe we can bring a picnic sometime and just kind of chill. So I had to move my room because a huge group of kids came and stayed at the hostel tonight, which is great for the hostel because they need the business. Um, Suck they had to move all my stuff. But I'm actually kind of liking this room a little better, um, just because it's smaller. So if more travelers and backpackers do come, I won't have as many to bunk with. Which is kind of sad, because I just, that's sad to say. It makes me sound like I don't like people. I don't like feeling uncomfortable around strangers, if that makes sense. I also have a pounding headache. I had to go out and get some coffee. Um, I'm sorry to suffer from, you know, getting caffeine headaches that's just how much coffee and how much i've been depend dependent on it since i got here it doesn't help that when i go to class we have free coffee and tea unlimited ah it is what it is but i also went out and got um i gotta show it to you i don't know how to show it best i'm just gonna stop it I also went out and got this beauty. It is actually, I think probably my favorite like sweet treat in Antigua. It's like baklava on steroids, except it's like cream filled. And I'm going through my time and it's Shabbat. So I'm gonna treat myself just a little bit. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I know it was kind of erratic. It was, Thursday and Friday, but thank you again for watching. If you want to keep up with what's going on with teaching and learning and living in Antigua, please subscribe. Leave your questions, comments, criticisms, concerns down below. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you think this looks absolutely delightful. Take care. Espero que Dios te bendiga. Shalom Hasta la próxima.